Hello everyone and welcome to a new tutorial in Adobe Photoshop CS6. Today we're going to take a look at the filter effect. No, not the filter effect, but the lightning effect. And it's new in CS6. So if you're familiar with the CS5, you might not have seen it before. Um, so they take it back for the CS6 and it's a really good effect. So I don't know why they took it out for CS5, but uh, it's back. So make a new copy of your background because you're going to use the background for later editing. So choose your background copy, filter, and then go down to render and lightning effects. Um, just wait. So that's me playing around with it. So when you open up your lightning effects for the first time, uh, this is what you're going to, yeah. This is what you're going to see, and yeah, it looks really boring, and it's just uh, you can just move around, and there's a lot of sliders, and just to increase the lines, it's like having like exposure, so it doesn't look any good. It looks really boring if you ask me. So I'm sure that you don't want to <laughs> play around with it, but there's a lot of cool presets. You kind of have this uh, triple spotlight. And I would imagine this would work better if it was like an indoor shoot or a portrait photo. And what the lighting effects are used to, are meant to be used for, is to relight your photo. If it's bad lightning, you can make it good lightning again. So, yeah, there's uh, a lot of things to do, and uh, there's a lot of things to be played around with. You also have this RGB lights. I don't know why you would use this one, but uh, yeah, some of you. I think it's cool, I don't know, like, yeah, so anyway, my favorite one is flashlights, so it's just a one point, point light, so where this is, that's where the light is pointed, so I would like to have this just over the horizon, where the sun is, and you see this green circle, if you have your uh, mouse, over it, it would turn yellow, and that's the scale of the whole light. And I would de decrease it, just make it kind of small. And this is the in intensity of the light. And I would turn that one down. And now you're thinking, that's not good, because all I see is the horizon in like one third of the photo, and everything is pitch black. So that's so you can make a new light. Just go up here add a new point light and you can always add as many as you want to so let's see we add three and we can just turn them off and uh, yeah just have the first and the second light uh, active and I would turn it over to the foreground like this is the main subject or it's the foreground subject and I would do the same decrease the scale and put the intensity down so that's 120 and this one is 25 and that's a good thing because you want the background that uh, you want the people the eyes to be concentrate on the background and on the foreground so just remember that and uh, we can go to the third light because the image is still really dark if you turn it off you, you haven't can't see anything over here so just again decrease the scale and make the intensity a bit smaller move it over here and now it's really back black down here and that's okay because you can always change the shadows in uh, Lightroom or Photoshop after you have done this so that's not a problem uh, because it's landscape photos, so you want the whole photo to be lit. But there's always something that you want to be, that you want to have more lit than other things. So that just looks weird. Um, you could do it like this, so you would like have a last this way. Um, yeah. So remember, it's just for tutorial, and uh, you have to play around to get the effects that you, you want to. So if you go over here, you have the color tab. Uh, you can change whatever color you want to, blue, yellow, 
green, blah blah blah. I would go to orange. Uh, that's kind of too much. Um, I don't know. That's good. And that's just give the whole photo a, a warm, warm feeling. And uh, I would increase decrease the intensity because that's just it's too much when you get the color. Um, yeah, twenty. That's that's good. And just hit OK, and it will just uh, load the picture. Um, and that's the edited one, and that's the original. So you can see you kind of get the whole sun flare just stands up a bit more. The foreground is still it but not that much. Uh, I wouldn't have done this one. Uh, doesn't look really good. <laughs> uh, yeah, I might have just turned this light up against this place. But anyway, that's not one, what I'm going to show you. It's not a just, just it's not just one way you can do this. You have to play around and try to find your own way and just make the back uh, make the picture the way you want it to be. So if you go over to blend modes there's a lot of cool things you can do. Um, I've done a few photos and I usually go to overlay and yeah that's too much it doesn't look real and you can always just change the opacity or just decrease the whole thing but uh, that's not what I'm going to do right now um, just scroll through the blend modes and see if you can find one that you kinda like so lighten, that looks a bit more. Dark in color, yeah, I like that one. Um, looks good. It's too much, too much. Um, what's... No, multiply. Yeah, that's just too dark. Uh, I like dark and this all. So there's a lot of things to go through. You can find someone that you like, and you can just use it for further editing so I would like to use the dark in color and you can just take the photo and edit the shadows and kinda light up the foreground and make the sky a bit more blown up and the whole photo will look a lot better so yeah hope you like the tutorial and uh, you're I hope you find some interesting way to use the lightning effects and if there's other things that you want me to take a take a look at or do a tutorial on please send me a message on YouTube or Google Plus or whatever I might add my Google Plus account that sounds good um, anyway I'll see you in the next tutorial and uh, yeah go edit some photos bye